I wake up at 6.30 to 7 most mornings. The first thing I do is head downstairs and make my first coffee of the day. A Tassimo machine coffee, which I honestly couldn't live without. I go on to drink far too many of these throughout the day. I usually have an hour or so before I start work at 8 a.m. So I grab my MacBook, sit on the sofa and do some video editing for whichever videos I have coming up that week. Eight o'clock hits and it's time for me to start the day job. I head into my home office, set up my laptop and proceed to catching up on my emails. I have an aggressive policy when it comes to email management and therefore I do not expect to wake up to too many unactioned emails. And if at this moment I have some simple emails to reply to, then I will action them. The two minute rule comes to mind here. Once I have checked my emails, I begin each day with writing a to-do list. To-do lists are critical for time management and meeting stakeholder deadlines. My one rule when it comes to time management is to do the work first, which will get people off of my back. Not the most classy of phrases, but the critical nature of this phrase really leans in well to the effectiveness of my stakeholder management. It's a Monday morning and we begin the week with a team priorities meeting. This is where we discuss any deadlines and any urgent work priorities for the week ahead. It ensures each member of the team are aligned to the work at hand. Between 9 and 12 a.m. I set about starting on my to-do list. It's really difficult for me to identify what I'll be doing specifically during these times as depending on the time of the month will determine on the different priorities I have. But for the purpose of this video, I will touch on the main responsibilities I have. We start with the control responsibilities of my role. This can be through control testing or balance sheet review preparation for the quarterly meeting with the control team. The key here is to understand any material variances versus a year ago and present these to the control and reporting director. The purpose behind the control agenda is to reduce the level of risk of material misstatement and ultimately present confidence to external auditors to ensure that the financial statements provide a true and fair view of our business. In the middle of that work session, I am in dire need of another trusty Tassimo coffee machine coffee. So I head downstairs at 10 a.m. to make the second coffee of the day. I always take a five minute break here as coincidentally, this is the same time at 10 a.m. that the YouTube analytics refresh themselves and I am able to check my performance from the previous 24 hour period. I do this on my iPhone using the YouTube studio app who said men can't multitask. The morning is also where I try to schedule any ad hoc meetings or aim to catch up with any colleagues for any work related tasks. I prefer to do all my calls in the morning so that I have all of the information available to me for a productive afternoon of work. If at this point I don't have any meetings then I will simply begin my afternoon to-do list at this stage. Lunchtime is a very important part of the day for me. I grab some lunch which is usually a panini or soup and then head out for a walk with my girlfriend. We have recently moved to a suburban village and really enjoy getting out in the fresh country air. This simple half an hour gives me a wealth of motivation for the afternoon ahead. My time in the afternoon is spent very much the same as it was spent throughout the morning. On this particular day, I'm spending the afternoon simulating pricing on our new finished good products and completing the testing of our new controls. Starting with the latter, we have recently switched our enterprise resource planning system and as a result have taken on a wealth of new controls. As we are still in the initial stages, we are required to test these controls to ensure they work as they are designed and that we are comfortable that we are eliminating the risk that the control was brought in to deter. I have been assigned control owner for five controls and I will be testing one of these controls this afternoon. My responsibility with this is to run through the control technique and test the system as the script tells me. I then evidence that I've performed the control through screenshots and email approvals, which I then upload onto our online testing portal. There is a strict internal process surrounding the reporting of these control results, and therefore it's imperative that all controls are performed and processes tested with the utmost care. I then move on to my final activity for the day, and this will take me a couple of hours to complete, and that is to simulate the pricing for our products. As with any industry, different customers will get the same product from a supplier at a different cost. This can be due to a number of reasons, but usually pricing will be developed through the mutual business relationship which is held between the customer and the supplier. 
it is my role for new products to simulate the customer pricing and ensure that this is entered into the system correctly in order for the customer to be charged the correct price. This job is extremely important as failing to do it correctly would mean that the customer would be charged incorrectly. And this could have a significant adverse impact on the relationship with that customer. Before I know it, it's four o'clock. I spend the last hour of my day either finishing off work or checking my emails. Every day I block out the final hour of the day for me time. And I want to highlight again here that it is imperative that you look after your own schedule and find an effective way of you to do this. It's 4.45, five o'clock and I'm logging off. But by this point, I'm starving. So I begin making my dinner. I try to apply the Jamie Oliver 15 minute meals principle to midweek cooking, ensuring I eat healthy, but also not being extremely time consuming to make. I aim to eat at 5.30 p.m. and always eat at the dinner table. At 6.30 p.m. I head to the gym. The gym helps me to keep in shape. I predominantly lift weights, but occasionally I will do a combo of both weights and running. Today in particular is a chest day, which is by far my favorite day at the gym. Before I finish my gym session, I finish up with some physiotherapy exercises. I am a keen footballer, but unfortunately I've been suffering from ankle injuries for the last 10 years now. I have two partial ligament tears and a growth of bone in my ankle, making it extra important that I do my ankle exercises to ensure that the joint remains strong. I head home at 7.30 p.m., grab some food to refuel, which is usually a bagel, before sitting down in the living room and watching some TV. At the moment, my favorite show is I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Once the show is finished, the day is over for me. I head to bed at 10 p.m., ready to do it all over again. Good night and see you tomorrow.